Joining me now in a first on CNBC interview, Jeff Bellotti is president and CEO of Wyndham Hotels and Resorts. It is great to have you. So you're telling me things are stronger now than pre-pandemic? Much stronger, Kelly, and, and thanks for having us. I'm, I'm here at the Wyndham in Boston at the Massachusetts General Hospital, where uh, this this room behind me is, is is full. The hotel is sold out tonight through uh, through the through the rest of the weekend. It, it's great to see business and group travel back. But uh, to your question, absolutely stronger than before the pandemic. You mentioned Thursday nights, uh, Sunday nights, the two fastest growing nights to 2019, which was a record year. Uh, we saw economy rev par in the in the third quarter, 14% up, not, not to last year, but to 2019. And that demand has continued, continued throughout the fall. It's so incredible. Let me scratch my head a little bit for a second because I'm, you know, I'm thinking about the airlines, which are still obviously trying to get back to peak levels. The stocks have not performed well, especially lately. And yet your hotels are as fuller, fuller than they've ever been. How is it that you guys are sort of uniquely benefiting from the landscape right now? Well, I, I think it is the leisure travel demand here in the United States, Kelly. I mean, this work from home could be work from hotel, work from anywhere is uh, is really creating that weekend demand. Uh, but the demand remains throughout the week. I mean, the intent to travel, the intent to get in your car and drive someplace and, and get out of your attic, get out of your basement uh, with your family and your friends is, is, is spectacular. Uh, it's off the charts. It's unprecedented. And uh, I think we're going to continue to see that into the fall. I mean, we were really excited about the launch of our 22nd brand dedicated to the all-inclusive space. All-inclusive travel is, wow. is growing. We're seeing international uh, airlift continue to increase to, to de destinations like Mexico, where we have a new Wyndham Ultra Cancun and a new Wyndham Ultra Playa del Carmen. People are looking to get away uh, and have a have a safe and a, and a very flexible and easy vacation. And, and, and that's what we're seeing. You've mentioned some of the standouts that you've seen. Can you walk us through the places that might be lagging a little bit, whether it's in the U.S. or globally, just a sense of, of kind of the full spectrum from first to rebound strongest to those who uh, we're still looking for the catch up to take place if it's going to. Sure. First to rebound was economy, domestic, mid-scale domestic, drive to domestic. I mean, Certainly what is still lagging is what we're seeing behind us, uh, the group meeting destinations. Again, great to see. Uh, so many of us have been advocating U.S. travel has been doing a great job with the administration getting that to open up. And we're going to see that come November 8th with those inbound flights uh, restarting. Um, but it's really been cities like the city I'm in or San Francisco that are now just beginning uh, to pick up. It's those group meeting urban destinations that have been lagging um, the broader. We're, we're the world's largest hotel franchising company with leading economy drive-to brands like Days In, Super 8, La Quinta. Mm. That was what came back uh, faster uh, than, than, than anywhere else. And it's now these group meeting destination hotels like the one I'm in that are beginning to pick up. So as you mentioned, you think that this, you know, that there, and we've heard this from the CEOs, that there's going to be massive inbound travel demand into the U.S. in a couple of weeks. We think there will be um, certainly increasing demand into the United States of America. I mean, U.S. travel has been doing a phenomenal job um, promoting that. I, th I think one of the things that we're all advocating for, uh, so many of us have been on the on the phone with uh, with congressmen. Uh, last week we were on with Senator Rosen and Cinema and Moore and Manchin advocating for and one of the things we need to see pick up is a visa application. We need emergency funding for those visas yeah. to be processed. Yes, there is going to be an influx and an increase in, uh, in, in both business travel yeah. and leisure demand into uh, cities like Boston, cities like New York, cities like San Francisco in the, in the weeks and months ahead, which right. is great news for the travel industry. Jeff Bellotti, thank you for the granular look into your operations there. As we, uh, again, note the rebound your shares have had and the travel demand has experienced more broadly. We appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.